So if you have a USB-C device um, or USB-C electronic, um, I have good news for you. The European Union just passed an amendment requiring these, the manufacturers of these devices to be USB-C compatible or have these devices be USB-C compatible by 2024. I'm John Lint, lead programmer with BB Digital Lab, and today we're going to be talking about this new European Union amendment. So I wanted to pull this up as, as I was going along so that you guys could, you know, more visually follow along. Um, and this is the annex to the proposal uh, of a, for a directive of the European Parliament and the Council amending directive 2014-53 EU on the harmonization of the laws of the member states relating to the making available of the market of radio equipment. I know that, that that's a bit of a mouthful, um, but basically this is part of a larger set of, of laws, rules, and new regulations under um, this directive that is focused on standardization, right? So rather than having, you know, consumers having to buy a bunch of different chargers and outlets and converters and these specific things, just having one standardized system so that everyone can do it the same, reduce electronic waste, especially, um, and, you know, overall streamline the experience for EU residents. You know, this is technically just enforced in the European Union itself. However, a lot of these manufacturers have factories that will send out all of these devices globally, right? So they're not going to build a factory that makes, you know, like iPhone isn't going to make a factory that has USB-C. And then they're also going to have an iPhone factory that does the, um, the, 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 the light, lightning cable, you know. In terms of scale, in terms of, of practicality, um, that is just not what we can reasonably expect. So I would say that by 2024, the new, you know, the new iPhone, the new Samsung phone, then a lot of new um, of tablets, even like we talk about like radio devices, um, is probably going to have USB-C charging capacity. So let's get into the nitty gritty, shall we? Um, to start off in terms of these specifications, it's handheld mobile phones, tablets, digital cameras, headphones, headsets, handheld video game consoles, portable speakers, insofar as they're capable of being recharged via wired charging. So something that I, I did mention is like, if it has a wired charging, right? That is, that, that, that is something that, that kind of matters here because what you might see as a response to this, the, the actual, workaround they might do is have wireless charging and that you have to use their wireless charger, right? Because the whole reason that you have wired charging using these unique versions um, of, you know, the, the manufacturer's chargers is so that you have to buy their charger, right? Well, here's the thing. A lot of these modern devices already offer wireless charging to some degree. Now, are you going to see that be the only option? You know, probably not. What one would hope not, at least. Um, but you're definitely going to see these companies in the next two years and then even beyond 2024 really pushing um, getting their wireless charger, right? But regardless, they're going to have to be doing this USB C stuff, right? Because that covers pretty well all small devices, technology that people really use commonly, okay? Um, and then the second part is just kind of a technicality on charging capabilities, standardizing, you know, how much current can be sent, how much power can be sent. Um, and that just means that, you know, you can't have my USB-C charger that delivers a specific power. So you need to buy my charger anyways, because I'm the only one that delivers the exact current that my devices also need, right? So it's also kind of standardizing the batteries in that way or the, the, the charging capabilities. The second part kind of goes a little bit more into that of like the, the charging capabilities, um, how they're regulated and making sure that those are also standardized with that uh, USB power delivery, which is a standard um, 
system of delivering power, right? What I, what I was, was I talking about? The whole point of this is standardization to make it easier on the consumer, right? More standardized. The second part um, is just kind of like a little bit more technical. It, it talks about the um, information of specifications, right? So uh, it, it, it goes, it, you, uh, you can follow along here, um, a description of the power requirements of the wired charging devices that can be used on with that radio equipment, including the maximum power required to charge the radio equipment expressed in watts by displaying the text minimum power, you know, et, et cetera. So this is just uh, focusing on standardized transparency, right? So standardized communication of these are the specific charging requirements of this specific device. Like I said, especially in 2023, moving into 2024, you're definitely going to see a lot more talk about this and the implicate the global implications, right? But other than that, I'd like to thank you so much for listening and or watching. You know, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and I, I've been your host as is almost always, um, John Lint, and you've been listening to the BBJ podcast. I'll see you next week.